green environment unit 1 fourth standard term 3 science introduction to the lesson now nature provides us a lot of useful things but human being exploit the natural resources and create more trash and these unwanted materials thrown away are called waste now they can be solid liquid or gas and uh, they are produced from households industries hospitals and so on and these unwanted materials pollute the environment now let's talk about waste management madam i see a lot of waste things in our surrounding is there any way we can reduce wasting things yes there are many ways to reduce waste reducing the waste is the first and most important step in waste management what is waste management madam it is the step we take to handle our waste and to make sure our environment does not get dirty and polluted. Waste management deals with both biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Can you please explain the steps in waste management madam? Yes, sure. There are four steps in waste management. They are Separation of waste, waste collection and transportation, waste recycling and composting, waste disposal. Now the first step is separation of waste. This is a very important step in waste management. It means to sort or divide the waste into different waste bins. Each bin should have a different types of waste. It is good to separate waste in three different bins. Green for biodegradable waste, blue for recyclable waste and red for non-recyclable waste. Non-biodegradable waste can be classified as recyclable and non-recyclable. Second one is waste collection and transportation. Once we separate our waste in our homes and schools, it is important to keep it ready to be picked up by a municipality or corporation. Picking up the waste is called waste collection. Moving the waste from one place to another is called transportation. Next, we have waste recycling and composting. Now, biodegradable waste is taken to a place where it can be converted into compost. Compost makes the soil fertile. Non-biodegradable waste that can be turned into something new like recyclable waste and valuable is taken to recycling factory. The last step is waste disposal. The waste that cannot be recycled, that is non-recyclable waste, needs to be sent for final disposal. This waste is sent to an open dump or landfill. How can we manage waste at home? There are many ways we and our family can do to manage waste at home. Three R's help us to manage waste. What are the three R's, madam? The three R's stand for reduce, reuse, recycle. We must first reduce, then reuse and finally recycle. The three R's reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce is to make or use less material. This is to make, buy and use things that create less waste. It is the best thing to do first and it is easy to ask yourself, how can I make less waste? Some 
examples are given below. You can buy a refill pen and change the refill only when the ink is used up. While shopping with your parents, you can carry a cloth bag. In this way, you can avoid buying plastic carry bags. Turn off lights and fans when you leave a room. Close the tap while you are brushing your teeth. Now, a reuse is using a thing repeatedly for the same or for another purpose. By reusing, we throw away less waste and do not dispose it in a dump. Reuse saves money, energy and time. Here are some examples of how you can reuse materials at home. One, you can reuse old clothes as a rag to clean your home or even wash your cycle. You can reuse jam and pickle jar to store things. You can donate old clothes that still look good to poor and needy children. You can reuse waste and make something new. Example, you can reuse a plastic bottle as a pen stand or a bird feeder. Recycle is to take materials from things you throw away and make new products by using them. Recycling takes energy and time but saves the amount of new resources we need to make things. Example, water, mineral, wood. Now here are some examples of certain materials are recycled. Old newspaper, notebooks and magazines are separated and sold to scrap dealers. This will be made into new papers. Pet bottles are recycled into plastic threads and then used to make sports t-shirts. Old glass bottle and broken glass pieces are melted to new, new, make new glass. Broken metal items like tiffin boxes and plates are melted and made into new metal products like toys. Now how to conserve our environment? What is meant by con conservation of environment, madam? Conservation of environment means to protect all things found in the nature. It means that we have to use our earth's natural resources carefully like water, soil, mineral, wildlife and forest. How can I conserve the environment? Everyone can conserve the environment by following good waste management habits. What is the first R in the three R's? Reduce. Correct. We should first try to reduce the waste we make. Thus, we can easily conserve the environment. We can also separate our waste at home to keep our place litter free and clean. What is waste separation? Waste at home should be separated into biodegradable, recyclable and non-recyclable waste. Waste like leftover food, vegetable waste which can be broken down naturally should be collected in separate litter box. Materials which cannot be decomposed should be placed in separate dustbin. Paper waste, glass waste, aluminum waste which can be recycled into new useful products should be kept in separate box. I have heard the news that plastic is harmful to our environment. Is it true ma'am? Plastic itself is not bad but we are using too much of it. Overuse of plastic causes pollution. Plastics that are used only one time causes pollution. It is good to avoid or reduce one time usable plastics. The best way to start is to ask yourself this question. Is this plastic item going to be used one time or many times? If you can use it only once, then try to avoid buying such plastic items. Plastics in Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu is the le leading the way in India by banning some one-time use plastic items. List of items banned in Tamil Nadu are given below.
Animals eat plastic bags by accident and their food passage is choked. Plastic plates stay in the environment for over thousand years. Water pouches litter the land and are difficult to recycle. Plastic straws are difficult to recycle and end up polluting the ocean. Chemicals from plastic sheets leak into the food. What are the things that can be used instead of plastic, madam? We can use things that are harmless for the environment. These are called environmental friendly or eco-friendly material and can be either biodegradable or reusable. Now, what are the environment friendly materials? Things that can be decomposed or broken down by microorganisms are called biodegradable. They can return to soil and enrich the soil. Materials which are beneficial to the environment and do not cause harm are called eco-friendly materials. For example, banana leaves are used as plates. They are fully biodegradable and do not contain chemicals like thermocol, plastic or coated paper plates. Bamboo is used to make many things such as bags, dustbins and even toothbrushes. Some environmental friendly materials are not biodegradable but very strong and can be used for many years. Reuse is the second R in three R's. By reusing something again and again, we reduce waste and conserve the environment. Can you please give us some examples? Yes, sure. Stainless steel water bottle and snack box are some examples of eco-friendly materials. Stainless steel does not leak chemicals into your food or water, so it is safer than plastic. These can be reused for a longer period of time. Now, what is litter-free environment? Litter in our environment is unsightly and spoil our experience of nature. It is also dangerous to animals that ingest it. Cleaning up loose waste is one of the best ways to keep our community and environment green. By removing litter from environment, we are ensuring that it does not end up in an ocean. Okay, choose the correct answer. What is the first step in waste management? Waste separation, which is an example for non-biodegradable waste paper cup. Picking up the waste is called waste collection. Dash is the R in the three R's. Reduce. Fill in the blanks. Using old jars for pickle is an example for reusing waste. Bamboo is used to make bags, dustbins and toothbrushes. Plastic pollution is a big threat to our environment. Multilayer plastic is non-recyclable item. Match the following. Plastic waste spread to environment, waste separation, biodegradable, recyclable and non-recyclable. Reduce, reuse, recycle, 3 R's, stainless steel, eco-friendly material. Right, true or false, 3 R method reduce the amount of waste that goes into landfills, true. Eco-friendly materials is harmful for the environment, false. Plastic bag, thermocol and multi-layer plastics are recyclable, false. We should not separate our waste, false. Answer in one or two sentences, what are the? Three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. What are the plastic items that have been banned in Tamil Nadu? Plastic bags, plastic plates, water pouches, plastic straws, plastic sheets. Write the different steps in waste management. Separation of waste, 
waste collection and transportation water recycling and composting waste recycling and composting waste disposal name any five items which are recyclable paper glass metal cardboard and plastic covers 